middle of the ocean, off the coast of the Florida Keys. And thanks to this see-through kayak, I spotted a hammerhead shark. And it's circling beneath me right now. I've watched a lot of sharks feeding. So the question now is, can I deter one from feeding on something that is normally very tempting? The Apuli Franzini are across the front of a hammerhead shark. They're receptors that help it detect prey and electrical fields. We're about to put them to the test. This is a very powerful magnet. Check it out. Ow! It's felt that magnets like this might help to repel sharks. So what I'm gonna do is put this down on the bottom and see if we put it beside the mound of bait, whether or not the hammerheads come in for it. Hey, Manny, give me a hand with this. All right, just take this down and put it beside your bait. Manny Sharkman Quigg has been studying sharks and specifically hammerheads for over 25 years. He spent countless hours in the water with this species. Manny is setting the magnet on the bottom with a stringer of the hammerhead's favorite bait nearby. The shark should be very tempted by the bait and we'll see if the magnet is effective in deterring the hammerhead from its food source. Swinging their heads in wide arcs, the great hammerhead shark uses its ampullae of Lorenzini to find prey such as stingrays. These ampullae make up a complex and extensive sensory system across the surface of the shark's hammer, similar to the sensor plate of a metal detector. As an experienced shark wrangler, Manny has assured me it's safe to come in. As soon as I look down, I see the hammerhead circling the bait. He's coming right at us. So far, the magnet doesn't seem to have any effect at all on him. Manny and I have to move fast to make sure he doesn't get tangled in our ropes. That hammerhead is swimming all around the magnet. It doesn't bother him at all. That is one beautiful hammerhead shark. These are powerful fish. One swing of his tail, and he's gone like a shot. With the poor water clarity, I'm getting a little worried that the hammerhead may mistake my fins for a stingray. Woo! When that hammerhead grabs onto the bait, he's taking these consistent bites. Bite, 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 bite. You can hear the sound of the cartilage ripping. It's incredible. As I watch the hammerhead dominate the ocean floor beneath me, I have to wonder just how strong of a deterrent this magnet is. Oh, man, that hammerhead came right in, circled all around the bait and the magnet. He didn't care that the magnet was there at all. You know, there are a lot of tests being conducted to see if magnets will help to deter sharks from the lines of commercial fishermen. The results of this test show that at least in this case, with this hammerhead, he could care less that there was a magnet down there. He just wanted the bait. It's still down there. doesn't have to wait for long. I got a visual of the pole shark. It's flat with his body like the barrier. That's exactly what we want. That's my first data point. Here comes one swimming right along the pipe. Another bull shark, hoping for a late night snack, heads towards the barrier. He's approaching the barrier at a beautiful 90 degree turn away. You can tell that they smell the bait, but they're just not going through. Man, the shark's just really working! There's a break in the shark action. Mark takes a calculated risk. He's so impressed by Craig's contraption that he sprints from the safety of the shark cage to the inside of the barrier. Rack, they want you back here! But a bull shark comes out of nowhere. The shark coming straight at you, Rackley. And another shark arrives. Together, the two bulls stir up silt to create an underwater sandstorm, a strategy to blind potential prey. I can barely see anything anymore. The water's really murky. It's pure mayhem. Rackley is standing across. Now with 
Now things are getting serious. The barrier has never been tested at night with bull sharks in full hunting mode, let alone with a human as bait. Rackley, impressively cool, keeps filming his night stalkers from the questionable safety of the barrier. You can see these bull sharks getting more aggressive. Bull sharks accelerating towards the barrier. Accelerating towards the barrier. Shark after shark breaks off its attack. Look at that, that's incredible. It completely turned away. Thanks to Rackley's raw nerve, Craig's got compelling proof on film that his low-tech barrier repels massive, aggressive bull sharks during peak hunting hours. But still, the real work on his rickety brainchild has only just begun.